Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding an expression of the form x plus a all squared. So where we've got x plus or minus something, some number, and all of that is squared. Now in a previous video we saw how to expand out two brackets. Now what x plus 3 all squared means is x plus 3 multiplied by itself. Because if you think about it, if I just had 4 squared, that just means 4 times 4, doesn't it? That's what squared means. You times this thing by itself. 4 gets multiplied by itself, and that would be 16. So x plus 3 squared means x plus 3 multiplied by itself. So in the previous video, we saw how to expand out two brackets. Remember, we do each thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second bracket. So each thing in the first bracket, that x, gets multiplied by each thing in the second bracket, so the first times the first thing, the first times the second thing, and then we do the second thing in this first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second bracket. So this three gets multiplied by the x, and this three gets multiplied by the three. So you should have four different combinations if there's two things in each bracket. So let's do that. The x gets multiplied by the x, which is x squared. x gets multiplied by the three, which is plus three x. The 3 gets multiplied by the x, that's 3x, and the 3 gets multiplied by the 3, that is 9. And then we need to simplify, so we collect like terms together. I like to underline each term, including the symbol in front, so it's positive 3x plus 3x plus 9. So the plus or the minus symbol should be grouped with the term just after it. And then we collect like terms. Now, terms are like terms if they have the same variables and the same powers. So this, got, this is an x squared term. Do we have any other x squared terms? No, so that's the only x squared term. Now this is an x term because it's three lots of x. Do we have any other x terms? Yes, that's another x term. 3x plus 3x, three lots of x plus three lots of x is six lots of x. And then we call this a constant term because it doesn't have any variable, any letters on it. So that's just plus nine. And that is the final answer. We can't simplify that further. Now what about the second one? Again, this thing squared means that bracket multiplied by itself. And we do the first thing in this bracket times by each of the things in the second. And we do the second thing in this first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second. We do the x multiplied by the x first, x squared. The x multiplied by that minus 1, which is minus 1x, or just minus x if you prefer. And then that minus 1 gets multiplied by each of these things in the second bracket. So minus 1 times the x is minus 1x, or just minus x, because one lot of something is just something. Minus 1 times minus 1. This is where you have to be careful. Negative times negative is positive, so it's positive 1. That's a common mistake students make. And then let's just collect like terms. This is the only, this is the only x squared term, so that's just x squared. We got minus one lot of x minus another lot of x, that's minus two lots of x. And we've got that constant term, the plus one there. So that's the final answer. And if you wanna do this quickly, let's say I had x plus four squared. You do the first thing squared, so that's x squared. Then you multiply the two terms together and double it. So x times four is four x, doubled is eight x. And then you do the second term squared, so 4 squared is 16. And you don't have to do it that way, but that's a quick way of expanding this without having to write out the bracket twice and then expanding the two brackets. So it's the first thing squared, x squared. You multiply the two things together and double it, that gives you the 8x. And you do the second thing squared, that gives you the 16. So that's a nice little shortcut there.